Something strange is happening to Christian Guzman. Let's talk about it. YouTuber, gym owner, and overall entrepreneur Christian Guzman is starting to look a little bit thin, don't you think? Now you might be thinking, John, what are you talking about? He's more jacked than you. True that, but we're not talking about his gains here. We're talking about his hair loss. In some of his latest videos, you can clearly see he's starting to have a little bit of hair thinning going on. I can already hear some of the fools in the comments now. Who cares about another man's hair? That's not what alphas do. Shut the f up. The reason why we want to talk about this is because it could be a potential side effect from performance enhancing drugs alongside a few other things. Now first off, little caveat, bit of a disclaimer. Christian Guzman is a big inspiration of mine. He's a gym owner, as am I, but he's just doing it on a much larger scale. What he'd done during lockdowns was nothing short of crazy. Building a crazy gym facility when the whole world was shut down. I don't think he gets enough credit for it. I remember watching those videos and then having to sneak into my own gym alongside my staff. And if we would have got found out, we would have got fined 10 grand on the spot that we didn't have at that time. We were taking such a huge gamble on the sly because we had staff members who had families and that was the only way of bringing income and putting food on the table. Yet the law was saying, stay at home, don't be selfish, go into debt. It's not about your family, it's about the whole country. Which, looking back now, what a bunch of nonsense that was. So I know this is a little bit of a side note, but what Christian Guzman done during that time, he does deserve respect for what he done. And I'm taking some of that inspiration myself into the next phase of my own gym. Anyway, during the process of Christian Guzman building his gym, I remember seeing a few videos where I could see his hair thinning slightly. And some of this could be down to stress. As the common phrase goes, I'm that stressed, my hair's gonna fall out. And I experienced myself in the first four to six years of running my gym being stressed up to my eyeballs 24 7 lack of sleep barely eating my hair drastically thinned and i've got decent hair genetics on my dad's side of my family and so does christian guzman his dad has got good hair genetics so guzman shouldn't be losing his hair just yet he's only 30 years old and he has got good hair genetics so when someone does start losing the hair or they start thinning or receding a bit lifestyle is one of the first places to look as we know the amount of stress that he puts himself under is crazy so this could be one of the main contributors factors towards him losing his hair but stress and hair loss don't have to be permanent if you get your stress under control your hair has a high probability of growing back mine kind of did but it never quite got back to its full thickness that it once was now that could just be because by the time i was no longer stressed i was already into my 30s and started getting a little bit of natural hair thinning anyway so i got on a hair loss regime to restore some of that thickness which i actually stopped a while ago and i noticed a little bit less density so i need to get back on it now another factor that can cause hair loss especially for people within the fitness world is creatine intake now everyone's heard of the supplement creatine it's the most researched and proven supplement on the market that will increase your strength and increase your muscle size at the same time some people experience side effects and hair loss can be a side effect for some people when they take creatine but when we're looking at christian here that could also be a contributing factor but the most common reason as to why guzman is experiencing a little bit of hair loss is going to be due to the steroids for years ever since he started on youtube YouTube up until two three years ago he's always claimed natty which i believe he was then a couple years ago he started prepping for the show and out of nowhere he just blew up his physique just started popping like crazy and he also stopped claiming he was natty now guzman isn't a fake natty by the way he just doesn't talk openly about taking steroids in the same way that some other people do and that's fair enough because he's not just trying to have a decent physique he's going for an unusual goal he wants to turn pro as a physique competitor. He wants a pro card. And in order to do that within the bodybuilding world, you need to get on the gear. I actually done a Natty or Not video on Christian Guzman a few years back when I barely uploaded. You can go and watch that here. He's competing against others who aren't natural. So it makes no sense for him to be natural. It's also a massive red flag that someone is a fake natty when they're competing in non-tested events against other people on steroids. Yet these natural athletes look like they belong on stage and don't look out of place in comparison to everyone else on steroids. No natty can compete against enhanced lifters and hold their own. There might be one, maybe two exceptions, but that's it. For the most part, there is a massive disparity and difference in physique development between people who are natural and people who are enhanced. You could take an advanced natural and a beginner juice bomb. And as long as the beginner juice bomb is lean, the advanced natural still might struggle to compete against the beginner enhanced athlete. That's how powerful steroids are. And the way the universe works, if there's a shortcut to getting something, you have to sacrifice something else. I.e. years off your life, losing your hair, Acne, balls the size of grapes. But if you can handle all that, yeah, at least you'll have an extra 10 pounds of muscle on you. So we know that Guzzy is on the gear. And since he's gotten thicker, his hair's gotten thinner. <laughs> 
Now also, Guzman done a video a few months back talking about these 10 goals he wants to achieve. And they're not small goals whatsoever. He wants to open up more gyms, expand his brand, compete and get a pro card and much more. Big, big goals. So the question is... Is he extremely stressed out? In some of his videos, he looks crazy jittery, like he's had no sleep. He looks like that a lot of the time, to be honest. I think he's got some sort of ADHD or something like that, which under the right circumstances, if it's channeled into something positive, that person can focus and become extremely successful. Kind of like these autistic kids where they're like, ooh, 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 but then they can paint a masterpiece. So is the stress, lack of sleep, and steroids making his hair thinner? Possibly so. I've had friends who've started taking gear and then within six months, they're pretty much bald. I've also had friends who've taken gear for a longer time and the hair didn't change and is thicker than ever. Maybe they've had secret hair transplants. But it's largely dependent on your genetics. But I hope CG is doing good because he's a massive inspiration to hundreds of thousands or even millions of people, including myself. That being said, I need a little bit of feedback in the comments from you boys. So if you could comment down below what you think of this, it would be greatly appreciated. I'm about to really push my gym business big over the next 12 months. If I was to document the process, the growth of the gym, how I'm getting clients in, the difficulties that we're having, going through the decision-making process, developments that we're getting done to the gym, is this something that you would like to see? So it'd be behind the scenes look of how I run and grow my business. Obviously, it's within the fitness world, but there would also be a lot of business advice that would be able to cross over into different industries. Comment below if that's something you're interested in seeing. And then also, should I upload it to this channel or create a new channel dedicated to business, money, personal growth, unfiltered thoughts, and business and life lessons? I've been thinking about creating a separate channel for that so this would be the reaction channel and then the other channel would be more about the money finances personal development personal growth type stuff let me know in the comments below would highly appreciate it okay boys like this video subscribe if you're new to the channel and as always i'll see you tomorrow